The title of this paper is a temperature to digital converter for a MEMS-based programmable oscillator with better than 0.5 ppm frequency stability. The author is Michael Perrot, and he had lots of help from members of the technical staff at SITAM and other individuals mentioned in the paper. Paper is number 11.6, and my name is Steve Pratt. I'll be taking you through this demonstration. The purpose of this demonstration is to illustrate how a precision temperature to digital converter is enabling SciTime to bring MEMS-based timing to a new level of performance and achieve greater market penetration into the multi-million dollar clock timing market and replace legacy quartz-based oscillators. This demonstration will illustrate the high accuracy precision temperature to digital converter, also known as TDC. The MEMS resonator has a predictable minus 31 ppm per degree C temperature coefficient. Now with a goal to produce very high precision oscillators, we need a very good TDC to be able to correct that. Our TDC is accurate to within 16 milladegree C, and this results in an oscillator that's accurate to within 0.5 ppm over the minus 40 to 85 degree C temperature range. In this ex experiment, I'm going to show you how we're taking measurements at three different points. If you look over here on the charts, we have the MEMS, for number one, the MEMS uncompensated output, number two, the TDC output, and number three is the clock output after the PLL, corrected and compensated. And I'll be using a heat gun to be able to change the temperature of the device under test. The results will show that the effects of the temperature on the MEMS resonator is corrected by the very precision TDC. And this will allow the oscillator clock output to be able to maintain precision better than 0.5 ppm over temperature. Now for this experiment, we're using a digital oscilloscope, a frequency counter, a power supply, and a PC plus MATLAB, a MATLAB script, to be able to display the frequency in this display format. And I also have a heat gun, which will generate the heat source onto the dot. As I apply, if you take a closer look, as I apply heat to the Psi Time TCXO, very closely here, you'll see that the TCXO is this rectangular looking product, very small and in a plastic package. And the results with these three outputs, the uh, TDC temperature sensor output, the clock output, and the MEMS oscillator output will be displayed on this display over here on the monitor. So you'll be able to see the temperature rise in blue, and on the bottom graph you'll be able to see the MEMS resonator with its negative temperature coefficient in red, how it's affected over temperature, and then you in the black line on the top graph will be the clock output, maintain very stable performance over temperature. So let's proceed with the demonstration. I'm going to apply heat to the dut. Very high heat, 260 degrees Fahrenheit. And you'll watch the blue signal rise rapidly. You'll also see the red signal, the MEMS temperature coefficient drop in opposite direction as the temperature. It's its negative temperature coefficient. Then you'll see the black line is the clock output maintain very stable performance. And if you look at the scale, frequency variation at PPM, those two horizontal lines are two and a half PPM plus or minus. I've taken the heat off, and you'll see the temperature go back down. 
the MEMS resonator will start to rise back up toward room temperature and the clock output of the TCXO maintains rock solid stability. This precision MEMS technology combined with a very precision TDC is enabling us today to reach performance levels of half a ppm over temperature and provide a new level of MEMS based oscillators, TCXOs, VCXOs, and oscillators, single ended and dif differential. In the near future, we're going to find the next milestone to be going targeting OCXO performance without the oven, like 0.1 ppm over temperature in a plastic package without the oven. Thank you.